anybody that's been on YouTube for the longest time has probably run into Peter McKinnon's work. That's if you're trying to figure out how to do photography, videography, After Effects, or anything like that. Recently, he's been doing something in his videos that literally bring up your value production to like 50 to 100 for other people that are gonna be like, oh, that video looks a lot nicer than most of other people. Now, you've probably seen this shot a hundred times when you're coming up with tutorials and all that stuff, just a solid white background, shaking down the frame and then information on the side. It's very common practice here on YouTube. And for the longest time, I was like, all right, cool. I need to figure out a way to make this thing look a lot better than just solid colors, which if that's your aesthetic, go for it. If it's your style, go for it. And then guess who came along and did something to it? Peter McKinnon just went into After Effects, did some crazy logos on the background. They're moving and I was like, why didn't I think of that? That's just so simple. Now, if you wanna learn how to do this, simply I'm gonna be doing it in DaVinci Resolve. He uses After Effects, so he did do a tutorial of how he did it. So if you wanna watch it, the link would be down below. But if you're in DaVinci, this is the video for you. So let's just go straight into the tutorial. All right, cool. So we're in DaVinci Resolve now. So if you have the logo already ready to go, this is gonna be very simple. But the one thing that I do want you guys to do is make sure you go and add a solid background to the first layer and add your image on top of it. Any color would work. Just make sure it fits your logo because if you use a black one and then you wanna go use a black background, you know, just invert your logo to white and it should work pretty easily. So now we're gonna head over to the Fusion tab. So once we're here in the Fusion tab and you see your logo, make sure just to be like, all right, cool. It's there, hit shift space and this little box should pop up, type in transform on there and then just hit add. So once you add it and that node is not connected to the other two nodes, just hit shift and drag it in between it and you should see like a blue and a yellow line and they'll just connect automatically. So from here, we're moving over to the expector tab and then just move all the way down where you see edges. So click that and then just hit warp. Now we're still in the expector tab, just simply scroll back up and then where you see size, just make that smaller and and from there, you should see the logos just repeating itself over and over. It depends how small you want it, how big you want it. Now, if that's all you want to do for your end screen or your like B-roll stuff, simply just add a little blur and you're done. But if you want to add a little motion to it, here's how you do it. So we are going to add some keyframes right now, which some people are going to be like, okay, that's going to be a little much. So simply on this yellow line that you guys see down below, that's your timeline pretty much, I want to say. So just grab that and then just move it all the way towards the end or if it says zero frames. So once you place your timeline at zero, head over to the inspector tab and you should see transform. That's pretty much what you did to all the effects. And then hit the diamond next to center. Now you have set your first keyframe. Now go back to the timeline and move that orange little line all the way to the end where your logo disappears or at the end of the section. But we go back to center and then I usually just crank it until the center is out of frame and you see the logo, just that little green thing is out. And we're pretty much done with the effect. So simply just go back to the timeline and hit space bar and you're just like, wait, the thing's kind of crunched down. I still haven't figured out how to make it just all the way blown out. So just simply just go back up, inspect or size it, make it big, and then make sure you just hit your frame, add a little blur, hit space, and then you should be having your motion just moving along. I really wish I figured out how to come up with this because it really, I was like, that just looks amazing in all his videos. So if you guys want to copy that, just there you go, you know how to do it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this little background. Right now filming in my room it is 90 degrees, just chilling there and it's way too hot. If I have the AC on, you'll hear the audio. So yeah guys, I will see you guys here on YouTube and on Instagram. So I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.